Served up a four-goal thriller at Parkhead and what a night it was for striker Stuart Slater. 53 goalless games for West Ham and this is 23rd appearance for Celtic. Slater finally broke his duck with the opening goal. The relief was obvious but the joy short-lived. Within four minutes, Aberdeen were level, Ian Jess beating Tommy Boyd before shooting past Pat Bonner. Jess didn't even last till half-time though, limping off after colliding with the advertising hoardings. His replacement Paul Kane was to put Aberdeen in front. Comeback man Mark McNally lost out to Scott Booth, who set up Kane to put Aberdeen 2-1 ahead. Immediately after the break, Celtic were level. Substitute Andy Payton doing the build-up work and Celtic's other replacement, Rudy Vata, scoring his first goal for the club as well. Late in the game, Schnelders pulled off a great save from Jerry Craney. Craney had a header which came off the post. And finally, Jim Bett did the same at the other end, leaving both sides to settle for a 2-2 draw.